Hello YouTube family, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this injera from all-purpose flour. This is particularly for people who don't have access to tape flour. I just want to give you alternative and I thought wheat flour might be the easiest one for everybody to have it at home. And so over here I have four cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of Costco pancake mix. Uh, you can use self-raising flour as well. You can use any pancake mix. Uh, so over here I'm just um, tossing the flour on the stove top 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, you can definitely skip this process, but it does make huge difference to how your injera is going to turn out. One thing I noticed is it makes your, it gives your injera very nice texture and fragrance. And also when you're mixing the dough, it doesn't stick to your hand like regular white flour would. So once the flour is done toasting, we are going to set it aside and uh, get the rest of the stuff ready. I just grabbed my starter from the fridge and poured off the liquid uh, and I'm just adding fresh water to it. We're just going to give it a good shake and have that ready. Once the flour is cooled enough, we're going to sift it. You may notice a little bit of burnt flour on my pan if you can see it. Uh, don't freak out if you have that happen to you. It's If anything, it's just going to give more flavor. And um, so just try to break off those lumps and whatever you can break it off and the rest you can check it out. Um, and then we're going to mix it. If you're doing this by hand, please do it slowly uh, and knead the dough for 10 to 15 minutes. And then slowly add the water until you have a thin consistency. But I'm going to use blender today, so I'm doing it just roughly. And so once we're done blending, we are going to add more water. Uh, you don't have to really worry about how much water you add right now because we are going to pour off before we bake it anyway. But I will try to have all the measurement in the description below, so don't worry about it. This is how it's gonna look like. You can see all the water on top. It's the air bubbles. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, it's ready for baking. So we are going to pour most of that liquid off. Uh, as you can see, I poured off about a liter. And then we are going to keep that liquid. Do not throw it out okay just keep it there because you are going to adjust the consistency as you go if you need to thin the batter out you are going to use that uh, liquid that you poured off so don't throw it out just keep it aside uh, I added back about 400 or 300 mils and then we are we can start baking now and so here is the moment of truth The first injera usually is not uh, that good because you're still adjusting the consistency of the butter and you're still adjusting the heat, but this one looks really good. I was very, very happy with how it turned out, honestly. I have not used a uh, pancake mix before. I used, uh, I've used self-raising flour before, uh, but it turned out really good, so I was very, very impressed.
If you don't have a grill, you can use a non-stick frying pan as long as you, cover, you find something to cover with it. Um, this is the end result. Look at the back of the injera. This is how you know it's good. Um, it should be smooth from the back side and the front side. You should have lots of air bubbles and it's soft and it was actually really delicious. Okay, the most important part, don't forget to save yourself some starter for next time. Save about two cups of the butter and wash everything that you've used to it and just store it in the fridge. Here. Okay, that's all there is to this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you will try making it. Um, please do let me know if you do. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe and like. It will just encourage me to continue to make the videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.